So since I've got to the club, I've put on about 13 kilos all up. It's no real secret to it. What I've been told by Bree, the dietitian, and everyone else is just keep eating. So eat as much as you can, as often as you can. I aim for sort of six meals a day. They're sort of proper meals, so the rule with Bree is that you're trying to get protein and carbs in every meal. Um, I've got a little bit of a license to have a few cheeky cheeky treats every now and again, but yeah, it's usually just the healthy protein, carbs, and just get in as much as you can for every meal. We usually try and hit uh, three upper body sessions a week for myself and two lower body. I just really enjoy the gym, so it, it's pretty easy for me, so I just get in, get the work done, and you know, start to see the rewards. A lot of us made the decision to stay here in Adelaide and it, it helped us immensely, especially myself with my running ability that, that got a whole lot better off the off season. It means I'm able to you know, access different parts of the game which previously I haven't been able to. So you know, things like actually bodying up my defender, pushing off and making a lead. So yeah, you notice differences but you know, there's still a long way to go. Nothing beats hard work. I mean, we've got guys in the club who are elite at what they do in terms of preparation, training standards, looking after themselves and recovery. And guys like Lynchy, Tex, Sloney, all, all the usual names, they've just taught me um, by watching them and by listening to them how to, how to work hard and how to stay consistent in that. And I think um, the big thing for me is staying consistent um, with, with your work and your workload. And if you do that, you'll be able to, able to grow and develop a lot quicker than you would if you're sort of all over the place. So staying consistent with your work is, is the big one for me.